Hey, how's it going? My name is Pat Kupo. I'm an Ableton Live instructor and the curriculum director at DevSpot. In this video, I would like to introduce you to a partner instrument. It's a partnership between Ableton and Project Sam that made something together called Orchestral Ensemble Essentials, or OEE. I'd like to show you a little bit about the orchestra instruments that come with this instrument and uh, just show you how you can use these old school sounds in a very modern way. So let's start from the beginning where you actually install the live pack that you download. I'm going to go to my file browser. And as you can see, I've already downloaded this pack. It comes as a live pack. Now, if you've never installed one, it's simple. Just right click and install the pack. Once you've done that, you can go over to the right hand side of the screen and just pull this out and you'll have the help view. All right. And this is a built in lesson from Project Sam. This will pop up and you just page through and you have a little lesson. But the coolest part are these uh, links to the different sections. You have the brass section, the string section, and the woodwind section, which we'll go over. Also, once you do this, you should have in your preferences under library, you should see that it's installed here. So let's get into learning about the different sections of the orchestra. All right, let's get into the different sections or families of the orchestra that come with OEE and they are brass, woodwind, and string. Let's start with brass. All right, this is going to be your trumpet, trombone, French horn, and tuba. Now let's go down to the track view. Check out this instrument rack with eight different macros. First one is playing style. This is going to change the way that the attack of the sound is. So here's very sustained. It's held out. But if I turn this dial, I get staccato. It's Italian for short and separated or short and detached. All right, let me go down a couple octaves on my keyboard and move this dial up a little more. All right, we have low sustained octaves. Let me just hold a C down. It's playing two different notes right now, a C and then a C an octave higher than that, right? Okay, now let me move this up all the way and I get this low staccato octaves. They're very short, detached. All right, so that's your brass sound. Let's go over to woodwind now. Only two different articulations, just like in, uh, in, in brass, there's only two, sustained and staccato. This is interesting. You have flute, piccolo, clarinet, bass clarinet, oboe, English horn, bassoon, contra bassoon, all in one instrument. Okay, All, they just took the best sounding ranges of each instrument and put that on one keyboard. All right, very cool. But I can change this to... etc. All right, so I can change it from sustained to staccato, one macro. And then last is string. I'm a string player, I'm a bassist, and uh, this is kind of my comfort zone. Let's go over to playing style. We see five different articulations. Now the strings are uh, played with the bow, and um, it's the way you handle that. So sustained, we know. All right, tremolo. What does that sound like? Trembling. That's right. It's a trembling effect that you can get with strings. Just moving the bow very, very quickly. All right, back and forth. I can move this up here, and I can get spiccato. All right, it's, uh, it's kind of like staccato, not as accented, but it's just short separated sounds where you kind of bounce the bow a little bit off of the string. Then above that we have staccato, all right, more short and detached. And then everyone's favorite pizzicato, where you're actually plucking the string. All right, get your Tom and Jerry on. Cool. So those are the different uh, families or sections of the orchestra. Now let's go through them one by one. So let's say that you're brand new to MIDI orchestration, meaning that you want to use these orchestral sounds in a DAW using MIDI. If you're a very beginner, you're going to get this very MIDI sound. Let me show you what I'm talking about.
that might be where you are. Just uh, just programming MIDI notes and using these instruments. Does it sound 100% real? No, but is it a cool sound by itself? Yeah, I think so. So um, feel free to do that. That's okay if you're starting there. But let me show you what you could do. You could uh, sample yourself. What I did is I took all of that MIDI and resampled it. Okay, just recorded from the master track while I was playing. And then I just sliced it up with slice to new MIDI track uh, using some warp markers. And I came up with this at the end using that information that I was sampling. All right, sounds like this now. Okay, so basically I was just sampling myself. Maybe I'll use that for a track one day, who knows, but it all came from that OEE library. Okay, so let's get a little technical now with uh, Woodwinds. I'll show you how to make it sound a little more real. All right, let's check out some Woodwinds and let's see if we can get this MIDI sound to sound a little more real. Okay, let's check out this excerpt from Bach. Uh, it's his invention number 13. Not written for woodwinds, but still very cool. All right, let's play that again. While it's playing, I'm gonna change some of these dials down here to make it sound a little more real. Maybe it's not supposed to be sustained. Maybe it should be staccato. And maybe it would be cool if I added some octave doubling. Doubling meaning that two instruments are playing the same part. All right, maybe I'm gonna change the compressor's threshold a little bit and adjust the EQ. A little brighter there. Okay, that's cool, but what's gonna make all the difference in the world is if we add a little velocity action in there. So let's check, take a look at the uh, MIDI note editor, and I'm going to bring up the velocity editor down here, a little split screen. All right, now here's the trick. I'm going to activate draw mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these notes and kind of just trace them down here in the velocity editor. All right, and let's try it out. I'm just going to, you know, just kind of trace it, I'm not doing anything exact yet. I'm just uh, experimenting. Oh, that's going to be a little too low. All right, I'm just tracing these lines. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, so it just it sounds like people actually playing. Is it 100% real? Not yet. We'll check that out in the string section next. All right, let's get into the strings now. What I'm trying to do is make this a little more real sounding than the brass and the woodwind sections that we saw before. Um, this is by Elgar, it's his Serenade for Strings, the very beginning of it. Let's check that out. All right, so not 100%, but much closer. What makes that difference is, again, the velocity curve like I showed you, but also a volume envelope. All right, I'm just using the clip envelopes to just really shape that sound, all right, to make them uh, just like real players would in the orchestra. I'm kind of the conductor in that sense. But also, very, very important is that I'm automating the playing style. All right, check out the viola part. We'll listen one more time. But I'm going back and forth between sustained and staccato. So let's say you wanted to practice using these instruments. I'm going to give you an exercise called orchestration. It's where you take an existing track or tune or whatever and use the instruments of the orchestra to make a new song. 
All right, it's kind of like a cover or a remix, etc. So here's the original. It's by Clause Four. He's on uh, Jatari. Uh, the name of the track is Mars. <laughs> So what I did is I took that track and then used the brass, woodwinds, and strings from OEE and made my own version of it. So if you're first starting, you know, using these instruments, if you've never used orchestral instruments before, this is a good exercise to start with. So I've taken you through the very basics of starting with orchestral ensemble essentials, but now I just want to take you through, you know, the special effects that come with the instrument and the extra tools that you got to. So check this out. Okay, so yes, orchestral instruments have special effects too. Um, what you can do, you know, is add some of Live's built-in effects and, uh, you know, put it into context, maybe add some drums and some bass, and you got a whole new little track. Alright, some, uh, some orchestral step there. <laughs> so let's move on to the, uh, these extra tools that you have. All right. So now you have the ability with uh, strings to crossfade from one articulation to the other. So for example, from sustained strings to tremolo strings. You can play low instruments and double it with a piano as a percussion instrument that we all know. Um, and then you have woodwind. You know, just uh, that's also doubled with a xylophone, all right, so a higher sound, all right, and all of that combined sounds like this. Okay. okay, and let's turn those effects back on and get our uh, percussion and drums, and we got another little track. So there you go, those are the special effects and extra tools. Okay, hope that was helpful. Hope it uh, gets you started with Project Sam's Orchestral Ensemble Essentials and their partnership with Ableton. You know, it's just very cool that I can use my favorite DAW and some amazing orchestral sounds together all in one big package. So thanks for watching. My name is Pat Kupo, Ableton Live Instructor and the Curriculum Director at DubSpot. And see you next time. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.